that was a very, very cold night. <coughs> and I think I started coughing because my nose is freezing in my throat. So today I'm here to show you the amazing beauty of this area, the mountains. And that's why I'm going <laughs> through all this uh, cold for you guys to show the beauty and also to, to see the mountains myself because I came to Pakistan a bit too late, a bit off season, but uh, that's how it went. Our last moment in Natya Gali. This is a hotel Greenland that our friend owns. And we spent here a night. Uh, thank you very much for Welcome. having us here. Thank you. Very hospitable people of Pakistan. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, let's go to the bus. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. It's a green bus outside. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you! <laughs> oh my legs! Oh my god! That is so tight! In Russia we say tight but not offended. <laughs> it means uh, better to sit tight than somebody will be left out and be offended. <laughs> Our friend Khalid from Couchsurfing was busy with business for two or three days and couldn't take us to Abbottabad in these days, but he still wanted to help us, so he called his friends who picked us up from the bus stop. Here we are, alone, in the northern part of Pakistan, with two total strangers, people we never met before. The first thing they did, they bought us snacks, water, food, without even asking if we want it or not. So this is a, uh, they're making very special local Abatabadi uh, kebab. They don't take money from you because you are a guest. This is my friend. Okay, come. The view is wonderful. And then they took us to show amazing places around Abatabad. Hello, this place is township, okay, very beautiful here, um, cheerlift, come let's go, good? Good, perfect. Yes. yes, that's amazing view Thank and you the know, sunset. Uh, and actually behind these mountains there is a army of Pakistan training and on this side it's a touristic area. Very safe here. Wow, we are now here at this this fun ropeway. It is absolutely amazing. We, we don't really have a plan where to go. We know that Pakistan is a beautiful country. I want to explore this beauty. But what we have here, a ropeway, amazing mountains. So, so happy to be here, to be able to explore this amazing country. He said it's going to be a little bit scary because it's shaking. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. Oh. We go. See you. <laughs> that was okay. This is fun. This is very fun. Oh, like, look, we're like, gonna look go all far. the way up. Oh. Okay. Wow! Look at everything. So we, can. we can see the peaks of pine trees, and like so close to them, and. And like all the nature, the goats, like the, this mountain, is like wow, it's so, this is, these rocks. Trying to it not. is so beautiful here. Yes, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Amazing. Our friends behind us. There's a thing that's so amazing about Pakistan, the hospitality is incredible. When you're a guest, it's like you're a guest, here take this, we want to show us our hospitality. I, I've seen, I've been in plenty of countries and when, when you're a foreigner they try to get something of you. They're like, how can we get the most out of your but pocket? But the bus driver uh, first one also tried to rip us off. I mean, he did. Yeah, he did. But in okay. general... But, in, but people who you know, like who you find, who you're, when you're a guest, then it's... They are so friendly and welcoming now. These are friends from our culture thing and he brought us to this amazing place just to show us how beautiful it is. We didn't ask for it. They just brought us here. Do you want to see the ropeway? Do you want to see the mountains? Of course you want. We want to explore and then they just showed us this rope is so grateful and amazing how welcome these people are and they want to show the best of their amazing country and that is just, just wonderful this. it's already been like 10 minutes since we're on this ropeway and i still don't see the end of it and we have seen so many mountains like the whole way of mountains 
I don't know the height because they they speak in miles and and in feet. I speak in meters. So they said it's 7,000 feet above the so sea level. Enough. Like in Pakistan, they use like old British measurement. It's so beautiful that I'm. We were planning to go to Peshawar today, but I'm thinking like maybe to stay longer here. But also very afraid because they don't have proper heating systems. Ah, look at this pine cone tree. It has just a few pines and like a few. And it's uh, there's the stick, stick tree. They cut it. They mm. be. Why do they cut it? Oh, look, the man is bringing uh, sticks for for home. Ah, maybe that's why they cut it to burn. Ah, it's a woman. So the woman is bringing uh, wood home for heating because they don't have like central heating system here. That's the reason I'm afraid to stay overnight because the small gas heating they don't help you at night <clears throat> because of that reason like it's amazingly beautiful so better come in the summer so you can have more or less warm nights because now it's like really freezing as soon as the sun goes down minus below zero and if you ask me what is this uh, white uh, thing why we why we can't clearly see the mountains it's a dust it's it's a pollution uh, because it's uh, haven't been raining for a long time that's why we can see far it's in all over the north of Pakistan like Islamabad and this villages Natya Gali uh, Abbottabad very uh, polluted uh, air even if it's in the mountains with trees the dust the dust is in the air <laughs> This one fantastic. So today after the hotel, after the bus, a friend of our friend met us and he took us to the amazing uh, ropeway. And tonight his friend hosted us. A man that we only know for a few hours invited us to his house, gave us this amazing room with the heating system and his wife and mother prepared this amazing uh, dinner for us and honestly I'm so grateful. We got snacks, we got drinks. We, they even asked what kind of food we would like to eat. They prepared rice for us, made fries in hot, warm water. And it is cold outside, but thanks God, people here are so warm and so hospitable. And they gave us a whole privacy, a whole room just for us and said if we need anything we just need to ask and I don't know they're so kind that like this hospitality even makes me want to cry because they're so nice and like I did nothing to deserve all this and I'm so grateful travel makes you appreciate simple things a lot such as hot water I, I realize that I take hot water for granted. But there are so many people in the world who don't have that luxury of taking a shower in a cold weather under the hot water. Like such a simple things as a warm room, hot water that we used to take for granted. Many people in the world just don't have it. Uh, last time I didn't wash my hair for 10 days because I just didn't have an opportunity there was just no hot water it was like barely warm and it took me 10 days until I finally had an opportunity to do that and also the showers the, the room itself the bathroom uh, it's also cold and today I'm so grateful that tonight I'm gonna sleep in a warm room that I could take a hot shower wash my hair like I always take it for granted but today I'm so happy and grateful for these things and I was thinking that I still have many countries to visit I'm not sure but the feeling I have at the moment is that I probably won't ever meet such a hospitable people like here in Pakistan I know that like along the way wherever I would go I met kind nice people and very hospitable that gave me everything they have but here in Pakistan it's a whole another level of hospitality because people like it's not it's so not uh, 
capitalized like even when I go to the uh, restaurant people just give things for free because you're a tourist and tourist is a guest and like I was thinking like okay you go to France you're a tourist and it's such a touristic place nobody's gonna give you anything in the restaurant for free because you are a traveler but not here not in Pakistan it's like it's it's like another world it's something else it's just different it's like not from this planet uh, and I'm so grateful and it's not just like one person this nice and kind maybe I'm this lucky but so far it's almost everyone I met was inviting me home, was sharing food, uh, giving everything and uh, maybe for the last 10 days in Pakistan I only paid maybe twice for my food, the rest was given for free by people, by generosity of these people and here you can see the pure kindness, pure humanity when people just give without wanting anything in return from you they don't want anything from you they I ask what can I do for you uh, because they don't let me pay they don't let me buy anything and they say just pray for us and this is truly amazing and I'm grateful for people of Pakistan for this country and for simple things such a warm room and yeah, it's already recording Hi Anna. Hello. Where you are going? I miss you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. When you came back, then um, we meet again. Okay. Yeah. Till then, you go and enjoy yourself. Okay. <laughs> Today Anna is the last day in Abbottabad. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So bye much. bye. Bye bye. <laughs> After one night in Abbottabad, we decided to rent a car and to go all the way to Naran to see the lake in the mountains. Our new friends brought us to the restaurant and made sure we are safe and protected before they left. Now we are waiting for a manager from the car rental company to arrive to discuss our options. You won't believe what happened next. Who did we meet in the restaurant? Did our plans change again? Stay tuned for the next video and make sure you watched all the videos from my Pakistan playlist. Thank you. Okay, ma'am, uh, you welcome in you Pakistan. in Pakistan, in here, after bath, in yeah. lastly, Red Onion restaurant. Wow. Oh. All people come here and we are inviting you for tourism. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anna, he's my uh, brother, take care of you. All kick. No, okay. no, you easily. Any, easy. And uh, you tell you your Russian people, yeah. come to Pakistan, yeah. we are now best friends. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Don't forget yeah. to subscribe to the channel. Like and ring the bell to not miss my next adventures. And if you want to support my channel, you can always buy me a coffee. The link is in the description. See you next Saturday.